Virgo, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Of course, as soon as I start talking, people next door are doing construction on their roof or something, so just bear with me. I was told to start recording at 1, and it is like 1.27 p.m. on Wednesday, so I have to do what I'm told. Maybe it's going to be symbolic, but I just know it's hella annoying, so just bear with me. Um, I just don't want the music to be too, too loud. Um, let's take a quick prayer so we can just jump into it. I feel like it's going to be a long video today. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Virgo on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Okay. So, your channel messages. Let's start here. Either something about two days ago, December 13th, <clears throat> Versus December 13th, 2019, you need to go back to your camera roll, your text, whatever, and see what was going on December 13th, 2019 versus December 13th, 2021 and see what's changed, why that's symbolic. Come back and let me know if you feel comfortable. But yeah, there's something about um, the times that have changed, yeah. Uh, okay, so something about Piggly Wiggly that's a store like um, in the country. You could live in the country, but yeah, Piggly Wiggly. Or you could live on a farm. Also, Elkin, I think that's a city. You could have a sweet tooth. I have a couple names that were coming out. Casey, Sanchez, Darcy, Lauren, Ashley, Charlotte, Don, Giovanni, um, Jackson, Miguel, Colin. Okay. So something about North Carolina could be significant. I was also hearing, here I come, like ready or not, here I come. Like, I don't know, you could be playing games with little kids, cousins, siblings, something like that. You could be a DJ or a mixologist, or maybe you know a DJ or a mixologist, but somebody that can like mix things, like either drinks or music really well. Uh, somebody could have blue eyes here. Also the UK could be significant. Um, oh, I was out shopping yesterday, like eating and stuff, and I walked into this restaurant, I was gonna take a break and eat it, and I overheard this man say to somebody, he said, I haven't seen you in 20 years, and I've seen you twice in the last two days. So you could be running into somebody you haven't seen literally in decades, back to back to back, you know? So out of nowhere, it's like, it's crazy how cycles come back around. Like, what are the odds of that in the same two days you see somebody you haven't seen in that time span? So, yeah, something about the planetary shifts, the cycles, something's coming back around. Also, think back to 2009. What did you want to manifest back in 2009? If not 2009, think back to your freshman year of high school and um, just kind of reflect on are your goals the same? What's changed? Three, two, one. Yeah, there's something that needs to be reflected on from 2009, so 12 years ago, or your freshman year of high school versus now. Something about divine timing. I see the name Corey. I see Sarah. Uh, Corey kind of looks like gory, so I don't know. Uh, something about a chef. You could be a chef. Also something about exploring the world, surfing, traveling. Also something about ice cream. The name Jenny could be significant. If you're trying to figure out how to be successful at something, you need to do something brand new or you need a new passion for life or something like that. Maybe think back to 2009, like what was your inspiration? What was keeping you going? And maybe try to, to reincorporate that into your life again. Oh my God. I don't see how I'll be able to do this. I really don't. Um, that's just so annoying. Do they think about the next door neighbors when they plan things like this? I always wonder that, like when people do construction, like other people have things they want to do. What if I was sleeping? What if I was sleeping? I don't know. <laughs> so you could be getting like um, interrupted or annoyed by something. So there's something about you can see who someone is in their eyes. I was also seeing something about a trust fall. Like, you know how when um, 
someone's supposed to catch you or whatever, either you're about to like dive into something and you wanna know like if the universe is gonna like catch you or somebody's gonna catch you, but I literally see somebody about to fall and they like look back like, you got me, right? Like, you know, so you could be about to take some type of leap, but you're just kind of hesitating for some reason. Also, Gemini energy, Sagittarius energy, you could be having a conversation about what you want to sacrifice or cut back on, maybe talking about dieting or something. But I see you telling someone else like, yeah, I really think it would help me if I cut back on this or do this. Yeah. So let's get into your messages. Virgo. Yeah, let me turn this up. I'll just talk louder. Virgo, I was just thinking five in my mind, and then five is on the bottom of the deck, the higher font. Um, I should have said that. But yeah, you could be overcoming some obstacles and challenges in the home life. Something about Pisces energy, February. Your lease might end in February. In the past, you could have been dealing, I'm hearing Leo, not Leo, Libra, Aries, um, and Cancer energy. In the past, I feel like you made a decision and you weren't really using your wisdom to make a certain decision. So now you could be sacrificing that. Yeah, some type of union here, Virgo energy. You could be 27 as well. Or pay attention to December 27th. That day is going to be very symbolic for you, Virgo energy. Yeah, so there's going to be some type of disruption. This might happen tomorrow. I see December 16th here. Sometime between December 16th and December 27th. Um, what is today? It's the 15th. So yeah, something about tomorrow. <clears throat> Expect a conversation, an argument. Yeah, something that is not in alignment. You're realizing that you didn't make the proper choice. Yeah, there's no harmony in something. 15 energy so by Capricorn season or you could be dealing with the Capricorn you could be sensing some emotional loss because of time you invested but ultimately there was a lot of deception and envy this is a warning 7-7 seven, seven. in whatever this is something could have been all about like attention or something like that but you're gonna realize whatever this is okay all right Virgo Ooh, Aquarius energy, and you're starting with a five here. So yeah, this is all about the home life or something that you are committed to. Some of you could be moving out of your parents' house. I see someone raising their voice at you, but you're not like um, reacting. You're not responding or reacting. It's just kind of like smiling and nodding. Yeah, this could be at a party or a gathering. Five again. So, okay, whatever you were having obstacles and challenges with if there was something in the home life that you were dealing with the conflict is ending due to you ascending and surrendering your ego so like i said i feel like if somebody was trying to be petty with you or something like that you're just taking like the smile and not approach like you're not feeding into something anymore virgo yeah the world's in reverse the cycle needs to come to a close yeah so you might have to express yourself over the next three days be dealing with the leo aquarius energy but this is definitely in sagittarius season there's some type of expression that needs to happen to bring alignment back into the situation and in the conflict so over the next three days expect that to happen yeah definitely a conversation here because something's out of balance at home how many times i gotta say that <laughs> yeah the empress here Yeah, and then Leo had one conversation changes everything or something like that. So there's a conversation that's going to be had very soon. I'm getting tomorrow for a lot of you, but I'm not sure. Shuffling for Virgo. I see no here. Yeah, you're holding your composure through someone's, I'm hearing combativeness. If someone's being very com combative to you, it's like instead of you reacting, like listening deeply here, it's like maybe your angels are giving you this like calmness so you can really like take in what someone's saying so you can see 
or feel them deeper and like see who you really who they really are so maybe this is what this is about like you're keeping your composure you're listening to what someone's saying and the more you're listening the more you're realizing like oh we are not in alignment like no yeah shuffling for virgo i'm hearing huge turn off yeah divine timing wasn't that in the messages something about divine timing yeah what time is it right now let me see it is 1 37 so some of you need to clean your house something about cleaning up your house sacred plan opportunity and change wow so something's gonna come right at the right timing there's always been a plan the universe has had for you and it's on the way you could be seeing birds and stuff like that trying to give you these messages just keep your composure no matter what happens or how crazy things get you're going to be appreciative in the end that you did that shuffling for virgo yeah i see you looking out into the horizon like trying to see okay what can i manifest what can i make happen here you know what can i it's like every if you're standing at the shore and you're looking at the ocean it's like everything that's behind you you already know that didn't work out right so it's like you're looking at everything in front of you you're looking at the whole ocean you're like okay now what can i bring forth with what i see in front of me like fuck the past fuck what's back there i'm not looking at that what is over here and what can i like seeing like a like a tsunami kind of like starting to form or something or you know like when a tornado is just starting to form i'm seeing that but it's like it's all mental yeah the sun the sun so maybe you just need a clean slate like it's almost giving me the energy if you've been doing something since 2009 or for a lot of years maybe you've gotten into like a routine and in order to manifest new in order for things to feel new like you have to do something completely over you know with what's in front of you and leave the past yeah 12 on the dot sacrifice leave the the hangman 12 gotta leave the past hanging back there look to the future feeling with the sagittarius or very immature energy somebody that's very immature within their emotions they might not ever really know what they want to do or how they feel or something like that yeah nine of swords and the high priestess in reverse yeah something about planning too somebody may not be that good at planning or saving or something like that yeah this equal exchange is in reverse so this could be you taking care of someone virgo and you're realizing like you're not about to do that anymore. Your birthday could be September 12th, September 2nd, September 8th, the 6th, but yeah. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. There's something, there's something, Wheel of Fortune popped out actually. There's something that's changing about your life. You might be keeping your plans concealed or something like that, but I just see you in a position of taking care of something or someone else the chariot here 17 it could be an aquarius but judgment is going to be called on that over the next three days trust me there's going to be a conversation something i'm also seeing something about the uk here with this flag but just be prepared be prepared because if something hasn't been fair the sun the tower is going to hit fall and be rebuilt so it can be fair you know king of swords yeah I'm hearing, say what you need to say. Yeah, King of Wands, King of Cups, Ace of Wands. So you might get some type of six of, yeah, six of Wands, some type of urge to just say all this shit at once. And that might be what's about to happen tomorrow because now all the kings came out. 14, divine timing, perfect timing. Yeah, I see you. If you were scared to talk up, talk out if you're scared to speak up about something if you were scared to take action if you were scared to invest all of that's changing you're getting this random spark of inspiration or energy and yeah queen of wands you're gonna do what needs to be done yeah the magician so this is all happening before january shuffling for virgo you came out nine of cups here so there's something in your life that could have been um a hookup or something like that Oof. then look 
first it was this and now it's this. So yeah, if there was something in your life that was like a fling or a hookup, maybe it got too serious, but I feel like there was something that was once lighthearted and now it's not that anymore. Somebody could have became the mother of your kids or there could be children involved now, which is making someone very defensive. But I'm also hearing something about the police could be involved as well. Judgment here. Shuffling for Virgo, what is going on? So yeah, for some of you, you could have been dealing with um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Like I said, there was something that started off lighthearted, started off fun. This could have been like a relationship. This could have been anything. But something that was once so carefree, it turned out like as good as something once was, it's now equally as bad, you know? So you could be trying to figure out or you've, you're about to figure out why something changed or why things went that way. I also see two people going separate ways to just end the um, conflict altogether. Like I said, I see this conversation happening, dealing with an Aquarius. Something's hard to hear, something's hard to um, put up with, but I see all these things being discussed, brought out. Yeah, right at the perfect timing with the Queen of Swords here, Ace of Wands. And maybe it's this conversation that leads you to a brand new beginning. You're like, King of Coins in reverse. Like, this is not what I invested in. This is not what I put my intentions on. So you're calling judgment. I see somebody's gonna have to be disappointed at how things are about to change, but you have a new beginning coming that you deserve. So you need to look towards that. Yep, death and transformation, brand new beginning. So something, however it started, it's not going that way anymore. And in order for you to, I'm here and keep your sanity, keep the peace, you're just gonna have to move on. Make the best decisions for yourself. Yeah, 18 here, the moon and the king of cups. That was the last king that was missing. So concealing your emotions maybe for the time being, yeah, 10 of cups in reverse and being more logical, more Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy about things. Because it's like your emotions are what gets you sucked back into whatever this is or pulled back into whatever this is. So the more logical that you can be, the better. And you're going to appreciate that in the end. Yeah. 9-9 nine, nine just came out again. So you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled. Something about a dream that you had was very telling. You need to pay attention to that. Like I say, moving forward alone, justice. Keep hearing single parent, single parent. Yeah, 9, 10, 11. If your guard's been up for a long time, whatever this new beginning is, it's gonna make you more lighthearted, more carefree. Also, if you've been like investing in work a lot and just like working to keep your mind off things, you're not gonna have to do that. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It's like, it's almost like you're realizing something all of a sudden with this Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, through a dream or through this conversation, remember in the beginning where it was like you're just listening deeply and then what something someone says, like it makes something click for you and the blindfold comes off here and you start using your intuition. Yeah, so this Queen of Swords here, whatever you're moving away from with this new beginning, I just feel like, I don't know if somebody was very defensive with you and um, like their energy would like rub off on you here. Cause it's like, as soon as you move away, this nine of wands goes in reverse. Like as soon as you get away from the energy and this is 19, it's 19 on the time here with the 11 right here, 19, 11, can't make this up. But as soon as you get like immediately, as soon as you leave this energy, your defenses go down, everything flows. It's like a huge tower moment. The emperor here, judgment, page of pentacles and the empress. Also, if you're a man, I see that you were like, all of your extra money, you were like giving to someone else here. Yeah, 14, 15. It's like you make the money and then you just like give it away. You're like, here you go. Or something like that. 
And yeah, your angels are putting a stop to that. Here, your finances suffered. Yeah, somebody, like if you're a man, like somebody may always want you to pay for something, pay for their hair, pay for them to like do this or do that. And you may not be in a position to be doing all that right now, the emperor. So it's like, instead of you investing into yourself and like getting ahead that way, it's like you're taking three steps forward, two steps back. So somebody else can be in that position. Like you're just kind of pouring everything out Maybe this could be for love here, Queen of Cups, but are you getting love out of this? There's no structure with whatever this is. I see two, three, no four, five, six. So there's no stability, there's no structure, and the King of Swords, you're finally speaking up about this. Here you get big metamorphosis. This could be in your energy, in your life, but soon as this is like resolved yeah queen of cups here and the world you might be ending a cycle or starting a new cycle with the scorpio cancer pisces once you get rid of the gemini libra aquarius energy but yeah somebody's blocking your energy page of pentacles page of swords all these pages you have to walk away from this eight eight saying your power again that's going to be what the disruption is maybe tomorrow or over the next couple days yeah because if you stay around the page energy, then, you know, the third and fourth page are missing from like what we pulled so far. So that's what, that's where you'll be. So unless you walk away towards the sun, towards the 19, you know, and have the confidence to do that, then you're going to be the third page, the fourth page over here. Everybody paging together. So you don't want to do that. You want to be a king, right? So move forward. Charge it to the game and move forward. Yeah, something over the next three, two, three, four days. I see the star and the end of a cycle. So healing and a cycle closing out. Yeah. Definitely see some tension. So just be on the lookout for that. I would watch the other fire energy um, readings I did this week because they got that. Leo and Aries, the tower falls down. And the one conversation that changes everything, it sounds like that. Maybe everyone's going through this at the same time over the next five days. Yeah, everyone in the world's moving forward with something. Let's get some advice before we get into the Akashic Records. Reveal what needs to be seen. So like I said, you're going to see something. You're going to see, I don't know if it's true colors or what, but just trust the universe. Aquarius energy. Know that you are loved. Libra energy. Shuffling for Virgo. And shine. Yeah. Wherever you go, wherever you go to next, you're going to be able to shine. And didn't I just tell you, watch the Leo and the Aries reading. Those are the two cards you pulled. Yeah, there's more information in those readings for you. Push through any insecurity, cancer energy. Keep your composure like we were talking about earlier because you're going to be really glad that you did. Yeah, pay attention to the details. I just need you guys pay attention to everything, like every single thing over this next five days or whatever this is you know pay attention to how people react to certain things lack of reaction to certain things yeah the truth everything's going to be made very very clear to you for whatever reason queen of roses Oh, 20 came out. I was hearing it's not really love, is it? Nope. I don't know what that is in your life. Five came out again. 13. 13 and five is 18. The moon secret. Someone's gonna... Oh, uh, who else had this? It was like someone like slips up and they say the truth. And then it's like two people looking at each other like, oop, oop. The specific analogy was like two people like hitting each other at the same time or like hurting each other at the same time, but like one person feels it. I don't know, but secrets are going to come out here. Going to come out. Yeah, it's going to end the war. 
maybe not immediately, but gradually, something about 2013, 2015, 2022 is brand new. Yeah, all fire energy here though. You're definitely dealing with fire energy. But if you play your cards right, 2022, wish fulfillment, brand new everything. But it's like, in order for you to have brand new things, you can't bring the old with you. You know what I mean? Like, you have to outgrow certain things, move forward, push through, you know, goblins. Every single time I break the deck, you guys start with five. This is all about contracts, commitments, work, home, marriage, partnerships, this, that, rock bottom. Yeah, like you're realizing something does not serve you. Something is not good for you. Something is an insurmountable, like, obstacle, rock bottom. Over the next four days, is going to be very apparent to you. It's up to you to do something about it or repeat the cycle again. Commitment. Commit to yourself here and what you know. Yeah, magic prayer. Commit to the divine. Literally four days. Four days. Four days, Virgo. Goblins here. Five. Wizard of awareness. You're becoming aware of what the goblins were in your life. You're becoming aware of why you've been stuck in the mud. So now you can heal the ouch or whatever rely on your ancestors to get you out of this place you've been frozen in you know you could be between the ages of 24 and 26 but yeah you gotta commit to yourself i'm hearing like take a bet on yourself take a chance on yourself because if not what are you doing you know ride the wave didn't we say something about traveling the world and surfing yeah some of you need to go swimming you might have a lot of water in your chart or go be by water or something like that, but. In how many ways can you say shit is about to hit the fan? And don't ever be worried by that. Just know that anytime something changes, it's a good thing, you know? You should never want things to just always be the same, always be the same, always be the same. You want things to change. You want tower moments, you know? If anything, just pray for the safety of yourself and those you love in the midst and the process of those towers happening. Ace of Winter, the lover's life experience. So yeah, this is a love relationship. Something was meant to teach you life experience. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but something about tomorrow, Virgo 27, 27. Yeah, the emperor and the dreamer. I see you standing in your power and going after a brand new beginning. This could involve love, you know, once you clear out whatever this other stuff is and you gain whatever life experience you need. Yeah, the end of a cycle. Brand new everything. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be implemented. Remember how we, I was saying from 2009, there's something that you need to do. You need to like do something brand new, rebrand something. Yeah, new ideas need to be implemented here. But I feel like they're ideas that you've already done. So it's more so like digging through old files and see what you can make out of it, something new. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like you have to go and do all this extra new work. Like, you have gems, I'm hearing, already on deck, I'm hearing, too. So, like, use that. Yeah, whatever that is for you. Um, last card, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. So, for example, let's say I'm in my room there's a big black spot on my ceiling, right? So that tells me, oh my God, that's a problem. I need to move, you know? But it's like when I, that's the overall thing. I need to move. This is mold. It's not, you know, it's not conducive for me to be here. But where the problems start is like, okay, so I need to move, but when, but how, but where, blah, blah, blah. What you need to focus on is the fact that you need to move, right? When you start doing all this other stuff, that's where the confusion comes from. But the denominator stays the same. You have to move, you know? So focus on what the constant den denominator is and then let everything else kind of like bloom for you. But don't go into analysis paralysis by trying to make everything perfect. Just do what needs to be done. like. Fix the immediate problems and let everything else kind of flow, you know? All right, Virgo, one more. 
let's get one more deck for you yeah earth mother so this is your energy towards virgo capricorn feel loved and comforted like i said no matter what happens keep your composure spirit fox trust your talents in changing times did i just say you already have everything you need like in a vault or something you just need to like kind of like go rehash or doctor something and then represent it there's something there's something i don't know what you do i'm sure all of you guys have different talents like say there's an old piece of artwork that you threw in your closet that's actually really good and you just take it out and fix a couple of details and then you sell it for 20k you know something like that you didn't have to do much work but sage yeah sagittarius energy be devoted and committed commit to yourself take a bet on you take a chance on you and see see how far you can go because i i feel like you guys you put all your faith your hope yeah moon here in others and if you like took half of that energy and just invested it into yourself you would be blown away by what was produced by that so just know yeah the high priestess whatever you've been dreaming of it's about to come to fruition you just have to i see somebody like cutting up vegetables or something like that hopefully it's vegetables but god bless um commit to yourself commit to yourself yeah mm -hmm. pisces energy pisces is next so god bless if you'd like to book a personal the information is below like i said like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>